Okay, so it's taken me a little longer to get this than I had anticipated, but hey, we're here. The new version of RMS under the new Retail Management Hero name. Um, I appreciate everyone's patience as I went through some training and have my lovely Surface Pro 4 with a full functioning copy of Retail Management Hero. So we're going to run through some things today, give you kind of an overview and my personal review. Keep in mind, I have worked with just thousands of retailers over the years, of which a good chunk of them are using the Microsoft Dynamics RMS point of sale software. And so this makes for an awesome upgrade. Um, I know as we look at the screen here, you're saying, hey, this looks different. It really isn't all that different, uh, which is cool from a couple aspects. One really minimizes your transition and your training time. You know, I figure a typical floor staff or cashier, maybe half hour training on just some of the differences uh, for the leadership, you know, as far as shift supervisor up to manager and owner two to three hour training session or maybe a, a two hour training session on the differences and then another hour of Q&A type training after you've been using it for a month or two. Um, the other nice thing is because you can transition your inventory and similar data, including your historical data from RMS to RMH, you don't have to start from scratch. You know, a lot of times I've worked with folks who have switched from switched from RMS to CounterPoint or other programs, and of course they have to take care of importing all their information, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you lose a lot of your historical data. And I guess the third thing is if you're an RMS user, and I'm not saying this isn't also a great program just for someone who's not using RMS, but Kind of the short term is RMS users. We've got 40,000 or so is my understanding. Still using RMS in the US. You have some really low cost upgrade options to go from RMS to Retail Management Hero or, or RMH. Uh, there is a license swap, basically a trade up, where you only have to pay that maintenance fee uh, if you're current on your maintenance, then there's no license cost. If you're lapsed on that pesky $214 and change per year cost for the maintenance that you pay to your Microsoft partner, then it's $250, which compared to anything is about, you know, 30% of the cost of switching. You know, if you had to go out and buy a whole new program at twelve hundred bucks a license, or sixteen hundred bucks a license, or even just the cloud-based stuff with the training and all that, so I, this is just a—it's a win-win. And I'll start babbling, so we'll get into just hitting the highlights. I'm not going to go into super detailed because it will get too dry and too boring. But I would do want to pass along that you know I am working for. A Dynamics partner again and that means not only can I provide the no-cost advice but I can also do the full sales and support which is really cool and I'm happy to be very happy to be doing this so I will put my contact information in because what I prefer to do with folks is we do a custom demo or answer questions specific to your business and type of products you sell, stuff like that. You know, this is not a, a one size fits all. There's always unique ways we, we run our retail stores. So going to what I originally intended was to just show you the software and give you an overview. You're saying, wow, Kevin, the screen looks really different. It really isn't. There is a different look and feel to it, but everything is still here. We can still do F2 to look up items. We can still do F7 to look up customers. We can still do F12 to tender the sale. 
they just they rearrange things so if you're used to the function keys the function keys work if you want to use the mouse the mouse works if you want to use a touch screen touch screen works so it's all there it just looks a little different uh, and you know those of you who know me I'm a big stickler on point of sale systems have to be super easy to train the cashier on and they've really held that together so we can do our F2 or of course I can be using my touch screen which I'm running this on a Surface Pro so I probably should show how touch screen works but anyway so I don't have a barcode scanner hooked up just yet so we can add our item we can do our F7 to look up the customer or if we want to scan or swipe their preferred card we can do that and we can go to our F12 so I can hit F12 I can go down use the mouse I can use my finger and customized according to your tender types and just like before we've got our little plus key shortcut for exact amounts which in this course case was zero so really nice really easy yeah there's a lot of other stuff i'm not really showing you some of the, the smaller differences but again i just want to hit the highlights so let's hop over to our manager and again you know it looks different but everything's there 95 percent of what you're used to is there there's a few things that are different which i'll cover in just a second there's a few things that are new like there's more there's more wizards there's more reports to choose from uh and if you use rms you know there's kind of there's three modules in rms there's the point of sale module there's the manager and then there's the admin with retail management hero there's a fourth one which is stock take and i'll create a separate video but that's basically for doing your your physical counts so again we've got everything here just it, it's kind of rearranged a little bit but it follows the flow that you're probably used to you know our departments our categories uh, we have our wizards we've got our customer information and when you get into the specifics then it really looks the same you know you see that the tab navigation like you're kind of used to from before with with rms and if we go back to inventory you know again a lot of the stuff is there it's just kind of rearranged in fact if we go into items and let's just pick an item here scooter always wanted a scooter again looks almost the same as rms with our tab navigation and again all the the neat stuff for adjusting your inventory according to how you want to track it want to set the pricing and type of products that you sell so i am very thrilled with what they've done with retail management hero i think it's going to be a awesome upgrade is it something you want to jump on right away mm, i might give it a little bit i think to me the logical thing right now is to take time to look at your options you know where you're at with rms work with me or your microsoft partner to figure out where you're at as far as emv your peripherals your computers things like that and then look at your options get some costs together get a demo of retail management hero uh and then you know in 60 to 90 days timing should be perfect to to move forward so again i've only wanted to hit the highlights you are more than welcome to contact me for more technical questions as well as a more in-depth demo uh, if i can't help you i'll put you in touch with someone who can and again i do work for a partner that is certified for the sales and support of rms hq retail management hero dynamics ax retail realm essentials cloud retailer and card defender which is an emv add-on for rms
All right. Thanks.